Hello students, welcome back to TG campus. In the series of issue of shares, we are going to cover another important concept in this video and that is nothing but call in areas and call in advance. In this video, we are going to cover what is call in areas, what is call in advance as well as what are the accounting interests we have to pass for recording call in areas and recording call in advance. So let's begin with this video. We have to understand what is call in arrear. See, for example, company is issuing one share price of rupees 10, a face value of rupees 10. Company is issuing that shares at rupees 10 only. That is nothing but company is issuing shares at par. Suppose company expected that applicant should pay at a time of application rupees 2 per share. At a time of allotment, company is expecting to have 5 rupees from the shareholders and at the time of final call company is expecting rupees 3 from the shareholders. Suppose there is one shareholder whose name is Prakash and he is holding 1000 number of shares of the company. He paid 2 rupees at the time of application. He paid 5 rupees at the time of allotment. Now it's time to pay a final call money of rupees 3. Company called him for getting 3 rupees from him on a final call. But he unable to make the payment towards company even after calling a several times. And this scenario when amount is due, the call money is due but shareholder Mr. Prakash is unable to make the payment towards company the 3 rupees of final call money. This case is known as call in arrear. Right? So this is known as call in arrear. See here, sometimes shareholders fail to pay the amount due to the allotment or calls. The total unpaid amount on one or more installments is known as call in arrear or unpaid calls. In my example, if Prakash failed to pay 3 rupees of money at a time of final call due or called by the company, so that is nothing but call in arrear. Such an amount represents the uncollected amount of the capital from the shareholders. Hence, it is shown by way of deduction from called up capital to arrive at paid up value of the share capital. In order to arrive at paid up value of the share when you are preparing a balance sheet, what we have to do? So this call in arrear amount we have to subtract from the called up capital then only we will get the answer of paid up capital that you have to show in the balance sheet. Right? So that is known as call in arrear. Now next we have to see which accounting interest we have to pass in order to record call in arrear. Right? So for example, I am continuing with the same example. A Prakash is holding 1000 shares of the company. Right? Suppose he unable to make the payment of allotment money. He unable to make payment of allotment money. Then which entry we have to pass? So if unable to make the payment of allotment money, then so we know in allotment stage, first of all, we have to pass general entry for recording of that transaction. So for recording of transaction, so general entry will be equity share allotment account debit to share capital. Then we have to pass general entry for receipt of money, right? Then for receipt of money, I will be going to pass general entry bank account debit to equity share allotment account, right? But what happened? So company, total company is issuing 10,000 number of shares. Out of 10,000 number of shares, one shareholder is there whose name is Prakash and who is holding 1,000 number of shares. He failed to pay allotment money of rupees 5 per share, right? So it means total 10,000 number of shares issued by company. Company is expecting 5 rupees per share on 10,000 number of shares from the shareholders at a time of allotment. But there is one shareholder whose name is Prakash and is holding 1,000 number of shares. He is unable to make the payment of 5 rupees of allotment money and we have to pass general entry now, right? So what we have to do? So we have to debit call in arrear. So call in arrear that is nothing but the amount that we are unable to get from the shareholder. That is nothing but in my example, Prakash is unable to make the payment of 5 rupees on 1000 number of shares. So it becomes 5000 rupees. 
So 5,000 rupees I need to debit here. Call in Arias account I need to debit 5,000. So it means on 9,000 number of shares I able to collect amount. So 9,000 number of shares multiply by 5 it comes to 45,000. So bank account we have to debit for 45,000 right. So which kind of money is this? So this is allotment money. So I need to create what? I need to create equity share allotment account for 50,000 rupees. 10,000 number of shares. 10,000 number of shares multiply by 5 rupees. If you unable to get any call money then? So then that share call account we have to credit right. In my example I consider allotment money we are unable to get from one shareholder. So we have to credit share allotment account. If suppose the shareholder is unable to make the payment of call money final call money in that case I will be considering final call or whatever call first call second call I will be crediting that and not share allotment account right. So this accounting entry we have to pass whenever there is call in arrear okay then after this we have to move further and we have to see so what is call in advance right and which accounting interest we have to pass when there is a call in advance. What is call in advance? So for example company is issuing 1 lakh number of shares and company is expecting rupees 3 at a time of application, rupees 5 at a time of allotment, rupees 1 at a time of first call and balance rupees 1 at a time of second and final call and total number of shares company issuing is 1 lakh. There is one shareholder whose name is A. He is holding 2000 number of shares of the company. He is holding 2000 number of shares of the company and he paid so far 3 rupees at a time of application, 5 rupees at a time of allotment. Then company called first call money from him and at the time of making first call money of rupees 1, he paid entire balance amount. So what is the meaning of entire balance amount? Entire balance amount means he paid first call money of rupees 1 plus the second and final call money of rupees 1 also. So it means total money paid by him is 2 rupees. So if you see here, Mr. A is making payment of rupees 1 before calling itself, right? And making payment before due date, that is nothing but call in advance. So here Mr. A paid this 1 rupees in advance and that is nothing but call in advance. This is a concept of call in advance, right? See, some shareholders may sometimes pay a part or whole of the amount not yet called up. Such an amount is known as call in advance. So in my example, I have not yet called final call money of rupees 1. But even in that case also, Mr. A paid entire final amount at a time of first call only that is nothing but he paid total 2 rupees first call money rupees 1 and second call money that is rupees 1. So that is nothing but call in advance. Now we have to see which accounting entries we have to pass when there is a call in advance. So first of all the money that you have received in advance you have to credit to one special account that is nothing but call in advance account. I am continuing with my same example. One shareholder A holding 2000 number of shares and he paid at a time of first call money, he paid 2 rupees. So in this 2 rupees, 1 rupees related to first call and balance 1 rupees related to final call that we received from him in advance, right? And I need to pass general entry for the same. So what I will be going to do? I will be passing first general entry bank account debit to call in advance. On 2000 number of shares he paid this 1 rupee of final call money right. So that is nothing but bank account debit 2000 rupees to call in advance account 2000 rupees right. So this entry I need to pass when we received amount from that particular shareholder right. After that when actual due date of final call money comes at that time also I need to pass general entry right. So at the time of final call I need to pass first general entry that is final call due right. What will be that entry? So final call entry we know equity share final call account debit to equity share capital 
टू थाउजेंड मल्टीप्लाई बाय वन दैट इज टू थाउजेंड रुपीज राइट बट सर आफ्टर पासिंग दी जनरल एंट्री आई नो टोटल नंबर ऑफ शेयर्स इशूड बाय मी इज हाउ मच इफ यू सी टोटल नंबर ऑफ शेयर शुड बाय मी इज वन लैक सो when i am passing due entry that is nothing but equity share final call account debit to equity share capital account i pass that entry only for 1 lakh number of shares and i am expecting 1 rupees from them right so i am expecting total 1 lakh rupees from the shareholders but sir there is one shareholder whose name is a and he is holding 2000 number of shares and he already paid 1 rupees of his final call at a time of first call only right so that is nothing but call in advance so when you are passing general entry for receipt of that money for receipt of that money you have to remember this now right so which entry you are going to pass you will be debiting call in advance account now because when you received call in advance money at that time you credit that now you have to adjust that so in order to adjust we have to debit it so call in advance account we have to debit for 2000 rupees now so total number of shares were 1 lakh Out of that, two thousand number of shares already paid money in advance, right? So it means I will be going to collect only this final call money on ninety-eight thousand number of shares. Ninety-eight thousand multiplied by one, so answer will be ninety-eight thousand, right? So bank account debit ninety-eight thousand, and we have to credit particular call. So in my example, it's a final call, so I will be going to credit final call account one lakh rupees, right? so this is the entry that we have to pass when there is a call in advance so in this video we covered what is call in arrears what are the accounting entries for the call in arrears then what is call in advance and which accounting entries we have to pass for recording call in advance hope you enjoyed this hope you understood this stay tuned for the upcoming videos thank you